Hey guys, welcome back. In this lecture, we will learn how to add device gem for authenticating users with existing user model in a Rails app. You know that we have a user model present in our app already, but authentication is missing from here. And you also know that we use device gem for authenticating users into a Rails app. And when we add device gem into our project or Rails app, you need to specify a resource model that you want to authenticate and we will use our existing user model as the resource to be authenticated using device. So let's start with this. So first switch to the project directory and open your project in your preferred text editor and now switch to the gem file and in the gem file come to the bottom of it and add a gem that is gem device, gem device, save it and switch to the terminal and run bundle install. So here is the server is running and run bundle install here. After bundling the gem, let's generate the device initializer with the command rails g device install. So what we need to do here rails g device install and then run this command. You can see that this command has generated a device initializer file and a device locals file and also some configurations for your application. So we can do a bit of configuration. We can copy some bit of configuration from here. For example, this config.action mailer dot default URL options and now switch to the project directory and open the development.rb and into this development.rb at the bottom of the file, you need to just use this save this and now you can see that we already have a root page defined as home as the index page and we don't need this device alert messages and if you wish you can generate the device use as well but this is not our purpose here because we just wanted to generate the device initializer only okay now we need to generate the resource for device here you need to notice one thing that even we already have a user model still we need to run the device resource generator command for example you can see that in the models we already have the user model okay and here you can see that uh, there are some associations defined into the user model some validation methods and some callbacks as well but we will use this user method to authenticate from device but still we need to generate the device generator command to generate the resource okay so what we need to do here rails g or rails generate device and then user okay but if user model is already present what device will do device will aid itself to the user model not create a user model migration or not create a new user model here you can see that what it has invoked it has invoked active record and then it's created a migration that is db migrate add device to users.rb and it inserted app models user.rb and here you can see this to the user model and you can see that that it has inserted this information or this device model definitions into the user model and now come to the db db folder and here in the db you can check the migrations that what migration the device has generated for you so when you come to the last migration you can see that add device to user but if suppose this model is not present in your app for example if you are trying to generate a model or sorry a device model for let's say manager then device will generate a migration like create users or create managers but we already have the user model defined so that's why device has generated the migration with name add device to user okay and also in this migration you can see that we have we can see an email attribute but we already defined an email attribute inside the users for example if you open the schema.rb in the schema you can see that in the user model we already have the email attribute okay so we cannot have to attribute with the same name so we need to uncomment sorry we need to comment this email attribute okay and now we can run our migration so let's switch to the terminal and run the migration rails db migrate and if you do not comment this email attribute inside the device migration you will get a migration error okay so if you want to check that migration error you can run this migration without commenting the email attribute and if you want to directly uh, if you want to run it by commenting the email attribute both are your choices but i am running this migration by commenting this email attribute and now once the migration has been generated you can see that uh, rest of these device attributes will be added into the user table in the schema.rb so you here you can see that once i generated that migration you can see now uh, what I can see here encrypted password, reset password, token password, send it and remember me. 
and so on. So so far we added the device and we uh, added the device to the existing user model as well. Now what you need to do as the next thing that uh, we need to assign passwords to each user. But since we have hundreds of users in the app already that we created using the seed file. So let's generate password for each of these users using some script. So open the seeds file and here you can see that what we are doing here we are creating 100 times users or 100 users using the seed file. Now what we need to do user.all just to generate the password for each of the existing users. So user.all then each do and here you can use user okay and now what you need to do here let's say user dot update then password and any password you can provide here for as a sample so for example password at the rate one two three okay now let me tell you one thing here that why we are writing this script because suppose uh, you have some kind of scenarios in real world projects as well for example you have an application there where you have multiple users or hundreds of users and later you realize to implement the device or implement the authentication okay and in that case what you need to do you need to generate get the device into your application and you need to generate the password and send an email to all existing users that uh, your account has been created into our application and this is your password and then you need to provide a link to all the users in the email that if they want they can change their password okay so that's why we are doing the same thing here however i'm not going to send the email here because if i send the email from using letter opener from this script it will send the, let's say it will open the 100 previews of the email so i'm not doing here but if you wish you can do that or you can also create a separate migration for that as uh, for updating the user password as well and you can populate these passwords from that uh, migration script but uh, i'm just using the seed file now if you wish you can update all these password passwords by running the seed file or you can update all these passwords by running this script into the rails console so i will prefer the rails console here so just copy this user.all.h2 password and just copy this and now switch to the terminal and run the rails console here and in this rails console now just paste this script and run this command okay and you can see that it will create password for hundreds of users so the script has worked and rails updated the password or generated the password for all the existing users okay now what we need to do we need to check this authentication so first switch to the application controller in your project and add a before action callback there so switch to the project directory and open the application controller application controller and here what we need to add we need to add a before action callback that is before action then authenticate user okay. and just save this and then switch to the terminal and restart your rail server if it is already running else start the rail server but my rail server is running here so what i need to do here i need to start the rail server why because i added the device gem and it is always come with the initializer so uh, i need this effect uh, i need the device to take effect so i need to restart my server or whenever you add a new gem just make sure that you restarted the server to get all things working fine for example if you switch to the terminal now and if you refresh the page you will see that uh, undefined method device for action dispatch and all that why because we did not start the server yet so just uh, do that restart the server and after restarting the server refresh the browser page and when you refresh the page you will see a sign in screen why because we added the before action authenticated authenticate user callback into the application controller so switch to the browser and refresh the page here you will see the login form now let's try to check the user authenticate by signing a user so switch to the rails console again and find the email of first user so we can get let's say user dot first dot email okay and here you can see this is the email of the first user with id 1 so just copy this email and we know that we set the 
constant password for now that is password at the rate one two three so just provide that password here password at the rate one two three okay and once you submit the password or submit the login form you can see that now i can sign in into the system that means the authentication has worked so our the device authentication for existing user model has been completed and there is really no major difference between using device with an existing model or using device a resource from scratch okay now if you want to create custom forms views and controller for your device user model you can follow my device with rail 7 playlist and i will share the link into the description of this lecture i will also attach the project repository link into the description if you wish you can check it out and use the same project that i am using for this lecture okay but my main reason is to aid this device authentication is that when we write the feature spec for our app we will allow rails to test user authentication by auto filling the login form and sign up form okay but that will be in upcoming lectures okay meanwhile try this lecture at your end and let's meet into the next lecture Till then, Tata. Goodbye. Take care and stay safe.